An abandoned house in Estancia attracts people from across the state, and many think that it's haunted. But how it got there might surprise you. News 13's Jackie Kent shows you the history behind it. This rickety house, fenced off from the public on Highway 55, has a haunting reputation. It's been abandoned now for probably 20 years. Ask almost anyone in the small town of Estancia. It's a really small town, probably about a thousand people. Many say the superstitions behind the now doorless walls and moss-covered roof tiles. If you travel by, sometimes you can see a, pe a person standing in the window. Attract people from across the state to snap a picture with hopes of spotting something eerie. It's a kind of a ghost house. People love it for this time of year, for Halloween. Board of Trustees member and former Estancia Mayor Moro Hall says how it got here is just as surprising. He says local lawyer Fred Ayers bought the house as a kit back in the 1920s through the Sears and Roebuck catalog. It's, it's amazing it's still standing. The Sears Archives website states the retailer sold more than 70,000 of the Build It Yourself house kits in nearly 450 different housing styles between 1908 and 1940. I just think it's wonderful that it's, it's in our town. And with the announcement that Sears filed for bankruptcy this week among plunging sales, the store in Albuquerque's Coronado Center is getting ready to close. Meanwhile, this home... It looks about the way the Sears and Roebuck looks right now. ...is still standing, with Estancians proud to share its history nearly 100 years later. And I hope it lasts for many, many, many years to come. Jackie Kent, KRQE News 13. The house is still owned by the Ayers family, which currently raises cattle on the surrounding land. There's another house in the state with a connection to Sears. The historic Candido Gonzalez house in Corrales was built with material from a Sears home kit, including the window frames and the wooden trim. The house is currently on the market for $950,000.